Hello, welcome back to Etex YouTube channel. This is Matthew in the house again. Today, we are going to introduce you EGM 550L CNC. If you are one of the Etex fans, you must be extremely familiar with 350L. It is one of our top two best-selling machines during the year of 2017 to 2022. Now, you are in front of the machine. When you look at him, it's like a 350L when he uses too much of steroids. It's huge, it's long, it's rigid, and the most important of all is that it can really perform a deep sport grinding operation. It has a swing over table with diameter 560mm on the work head. And the grinding depth can be up to 550mm. You probably will think that this value of grinding depth is not so special. But that's probably because you have heard of a vertical grinder before. That's right, vertical. But now the machine you are looking at is a horizontal setup. Comparing with a vertical grinder, our workpiece length can be up to 1.2 meters. And we have even customized our customer up to 2 meters. With a vertical grinder specification, the workpiece length usually can't reach so long. Before we continue, please keep in mind that the workpiece length and the grinding depth are quite two different things. Now let's move on to the workhead. As 550L is targeting a bigger size of workpiece, we use an A28 spindle on its workhead to manage a heavier weight load capacity. It consists of two angular ball bearings and two double-sided roller bearings. All of them are Japan brand. As for the servo motor for driving and the linear scale on the x-axis, we remain the same like the 350 series, which means they are still in there as standard because they are so important. As for the work head swivel, it can be swiveled with 10 degrees. And we made the swiveling mechanism like the 350 series, so the operation can be done nicely and smoothly. Me personally like the design pretty much. Now, let's move on to the grinding spindles. In the previous videos, we have mentioned before that we are quite good at designing and making the spindles. You can see the one in behind, which is our Y-axis, is different and much longer. It is an extended and integrated spindle, which means it is specially made for a certain longer length. And we made it in one piece, so we can maintain its rigidity in its best condition. When we think about this machine, we usually relate it to deep bore grinding operation. In this case, we also make coolant through spindle a standard. So we could continually cool down the heat during the deep bore grinding operation. The spindle is driven through belt, like our EGN 350 series. But what's different is, we increased the rigidity by changing from the original flat pulley into a multiple feet pulley. The motor we choose this time is not a simple induction motor, because we do not plan to change the spindle frequently on this machine. We choose to use a special spindle servo motor. With such kind of spindle servo motor, it has a wider range of RPM for its application and can even maintain itself under stable speed and torque at the same time. Before we move on to the next, you can see on our guideways, we have made a double protection with two covers for preventing the coolant leakage. This is also what we used to do on our machines during the design. Be more considerate for our customers the trouble stays away. At last, of course you will see our three-point steady rest. This is one of our key points for such kind of application, comparing with a vertical grinder. It's true that we can have a longer workpiece, such as a 1.2 or 2 meters workpiece, to enter or to load on the machine. But because such long workpiece 
is not only held by your chuck or fixtures, but also with the three-point steady rest. If your concentricity is important, well, usually such kind of workpiece shall be important. It needs to be ensured that the OD surface is completely ground. More specifically, your clamping surface and your point holding surface must be ground in the same operation. Thank you so much for your time sharing. What about story? Oh, yeah. Every hero has a story. One day, there's a customer that come to us and ask if our machine can put such big and long workpiece and also whether we can grind so deeply. They told us out there is quite expensive. We asked them, how expensive? They say, then we asked them, is this acceptable? And they are like, Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video can help you learn more a little bit about grinding. If you like this video, please press a like and turn on the bell icon. And also, you are free to share with all your friends. Thank you so much and we hope to see you soon.